I'll never forget this. And I reminded him of this the other day. He came to see me, and we were talking about it. He, um, he, he was going down. You know, the streets were a little wet, 80 miles an hour, fishtailing in his uh, Mustang. And he drops me off the hotel room, and I'm getting ready to get out. And he said, I got one thing I need to talk to you about. I said, yes, sir. So I got back in the car, and Jack said, well, let me, let's get one thing straight. I said, yes, sir. He said, I'm a nail straightener. I said, oh, I understand exactly what you mean by that. You don't waste anything. I said, that's, yeah. that's exactly how I was raised, and I understand. I said, yes, sir. I, I like to use things up. And uh, if in the community I was raised in, uh, most, of, most of the homes had a little outhouse that you kept your tools for the taking care of your yard and your house. And when uh, you, you needed a bigger uh, building, you'd uh, knock the wood down and t pound the nails out and straighten the nails and put them in a can. And next time you needed a nail, you didn't go to a new nail. You went to the can to see if you had one in there that would do the job. So the next day, he picked me up. We went to the shop. I worked with his lead guy, Tom Gant, was uh, running his engine department, and Tom got it. He's like, yep, I totally understand what we're trying to do here. Uh, my reason for telling Doug about that was I didn't want to turn my back on things that had life left in them. I wanted to use the life out of everything that was competitive. And, uh, and uh, for that reason, uh, I felt that uh, he needed to know that I was a nail straightener.